Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, it is Wednesday. It's my one day off this week. Uh, you know, well, I had the weekend off, but uh, the one day off before we go back to the normal schedule because tomorrow we start my three-day week. We're back to regular uh, work hours, so it'll be 12-hour days. And I've actually kind of changed my mind about exactly what I was going to do today. I had originally planned on uh, staining and coating the shelves, but I decided that I wanted to actually get in here and get everything installed into place because I was going to have to drill some holes in, in the shelves and stuff like that to pass cables through. And I also got to figure out how I am going to hide the wire. Somebody commented in one of the videos a few days ago that I needed to figure out a way to hide all this wire and all this junk back there. And I agreed, and that's going to be part of it. This was all this here, all this mess back here, that was just temporary until I got everything hooked up. But I have got some ideas on how I want to hire, uh, you know, hide the wires. And uh, I think we're going to do that because if, if I'm going to do any cutting or any dr hole drilling on the shelves, it's better to do that before I've uh, stained it. Because once you get the finish on there and you're, if you're moving it around, you scratch it, then you've screwed the whole thing up. It's a lot easier to clean up little scratches uh, if you haven't stained it yet. So I'm going to start by uh, actually kind of fitting everything into place and putting everything onto the wall. So we can kind of get an idea of what this is going to look like and how we're going to route the wire. So I'm actually planning on keeping this desk here. I'm going to actually center it better under the TV. That was just kind of a temporary placement. Uh, while I was getting everything set up. I want to have the center speaker in the center, so that shelf will probably be about here, and the speaker will go on it. Um, I haven't decided if the tuner is going to be on the left or the DVD and cable box will be on the left, uh, but then the, other, the, then the other thing will be on the other side. But like I said, I want to figure out a way that I can run wires along the wall without the wire without the wires being seen. And I think I got kind of a rough idea of how I want to do that. Because uh, I think uh, most of the mess and the tangle of wires will be behind the TV. So that won't be that big of an issue. But like I said, I don't want to see this stuff running up and down the wall. And I also kind of want to get it to the point where even with the power, <clears throat> the power is just going right up to, you know, I want to attach this power strip underneath one of the shelves so that it's kind of out of sight. So basically I'm hoping to get to the point where there are two wires that you see running up the wall. One of them is the power for the power strip and the other one is the, um, the cable for the cable signal. So first thing I got to do is kind of power down as much of this as possible so I can get everything out of here and actually have an area to work because as you can see it's kind of a rat's nest in here. I do want to try and keep the internet going uh, because you know I'll listen to music while I'm, rec while I'm uh, doing this work and it'll keep me entertained but as much of the stuff as I can get out of here or at least out of the way it's going to make it a lot easier to work out here. The first thing I think I want to do is position the center speaker uh, right underneath the TV because that's going to be kind of the important part because then everything else is kind of positioned based on where that is. So that's going to be dead center and what I've done is I'm using my handy dandy uh, laser level here to create a vertical line. I've literally uh, you know, bisected the word Sony on the TV because that's definitely right in the center and now I have a straight center line going right down the wall here. And so we'll have to do a little math to figure this out because uh, what I think I want to do is attach the shelves about an inch from the edge on both sides. So I'm going to have to kind of figure out exactly where that is and how they get attached there. And I think we'll probably end up attaching them to the wall first and then put the shelf on top of that. So let's start with that.
All right, so those are the two big pieces. Now I, I decided I was gonna put the tuner over here just because the connection to the TV is right above it and it makes sense to kind of keep that all close together. The tuner connects to the TV and then the cable box and the DVD player will connect to the tuner. So that just seemed like a, a more logical way of doing that. So I've been thinking how I want to do this third shelf here because there's actually going to be two shelves here, two little ones. And since these two shelves are both at the same height, I thought it would make sense to have this one be at the same height too and then have another one below it. But I thought that might look funny. And it turns out that the two items I'm putting up there, the DVD player and the cable box, are both pretty small. So I actually think I can put one of them, probably the cable box, at the same level as these two shelves and then put the DVD player right above it and it'll all fit in that little gap between the TV. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It's going to take a little bit of uh, adjustment but I think I can make that work. So that's basically how it's going to look. Now what I want to kind of do is I got a little bit of leftover lumber and so I want to create some uh, uh, little conduit things for lack of a better term. I'm going to use some of the uh, the same lumber that I used for the facing plate on this because I got about six feet of that left over. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to route a groove into the back side of it and then I can just run the wire up the inside of that. I'll stain that the same color as the wood here and I can get everything to go where I need to go and still keep it kind of looking neat. I think probably what I'll do is I'll have one go up from here to the center. I'll have one go up from here 
and then I'll probably just end up uh, running wire underneath here because then I can hide that all really well um, I'm gonna have a desk under here but I might end up actually attaching this uh, power strip to the underside of this rack maybe probably more to the underside of this one because this is where the tuner is this is where most of the power is gonna be so then I could uh, like I said run run power or run uh, cables back and forth underneath here from here to the player to the DVD player to the cable box and get it all up to the TV because see all of this stuff is going to run through the uh, through the uh, through the tuner the DVD player the cable box will all run through the tuner because I've got like a uh, an Amazon fire stick and that's going to get its own channel uh, and I only got two inputs on the TV so one of them will be from the tuner one of them will be from the Amazon fire stick and then everything through the tuner, the DVD player, and the uh, cable box will route through there, as well as the computer too, because the computer's gonna plug into this. All right, so these are the pieces that I made uh, to hide the conduit. This is actually gonna be the, uh, the piece uh, for the speaker wire that goes from the TV, from behind the TV to the individual side speakers. It's uh, 10 inches long. It'll be attached with screws so that if I ever want it, I can remove them and, and move things around. And the beauty of this is in the back side, I've created a little groove here. And so I can screw this to the wall here and run the uh, wire through the groove and it'll hide it. And I'll stain this and make this look real nice. It'll look just like the, uh, the shelves because it's literally made out of the same wood. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so there's uh, the first one, and like I said, there's got, I've actually got the wire running through it right now, and it kind of drags it back behind uh, the TV, and then I can, you know, figure out a way to route it around back here to get it down to the tuner when I'm ready. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, because I think that's going to work out pretty well, and you know what, that won't stand out that bad, and it'll look nice. When we get stated, uh, you know, stained and all that, because it'll, like I said, it'll tie in with all the shelves that are here, and it'll look really nice, I think. And then I'm going to do the same thing back here, and back here, and then probably between here, because I'll just, uh, I'll pull pull the uh, signal from this, the signal from this, run it down along underneath here, up to where it needs to go, and you won't be able to see very many wires at all. I think this is going to look really good. Okay, so I got the second conduit run now. So I got speaker wire running to both the left and fr uh, right front speaker. Um, since they're just long, I can just string them around behind the TV. And I actually got them coming out here. I'll make that a little neater because ultimately I'm going to run a conduit down here to get to the tuner. Now I'm actually thinking with the tuner, I'm going to probably have to run a couple of conduits down here. Because... Uh, there's going to be electricity running through there, and there's going to be HDMI cables, and there's going to be speaker cables. And I definitely want to keep the power connectors and the speaker and analog audio uh, cables separate. Because if you run them in the same conduit, what you might end up doing, if they're too close, sometimes you'll uh, introduce a 60-cycle hum into the, into the system. Now, it shouldn't really be an issue with HDMI cables because HDMI cables aren't analog, they're digital, and the digital should ignore, should ignore all that. Uh, however, it is possible with 60-cycle uh, uh, power and speaker cables, which are analog, that we could introduce a hum there. So I'm going to have to do some thinking about exactly how I want to do that because, like I said, I want to keep the power and the audio separate. So, like I said, it may be two conduits running down to here. There's probably going to be one conduit running down from the center of the TV to uh, the center speaker here. That will be pretty simple, probably be very similar to that one up there, you know, inch and a half thick and uh, just one groove down the middle of it. Some of the larger ones like I'm going to do over here, I may actually have two or three grooves running down them. So we'll have to kind of just play that by ear and see how that all works. Uh, but I think that is all that I'm going to do right now today. So I would like to thank you always for watching, and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.